mm -hmm. that, right? And then you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, you're going to, well, I don't know if you said you're going to jail, but oh, yep, it's a federal employee. Oh, now you threatening the federal employee. Oh, now you harassing this and this and that, and you're going to get in trouble. Like, ain't nobody going to get in trouble. Like, why do y'all do that they, all the time? It's, like, it's, it's almost like, like this is the Nobody's um, going to get in trouble, Blaze. Nobody's going to get in trouble putting up a video. It's just not going to happen. I don't know about that. Because, like I said, I do. When it come to when it come to uh, Tigda, they can they they can investigate you for years, right? And when they called my job the first time, and I had to go in for a whole interview, and them showing me all the stuff they sent in, and them lying, talking about I was going in uh, Cuban's files and pulling up her information for her business, and that just wasn't even true. I told them I got that off a public mm -hmm. website, which is not illegal. So after that interview, they told me that I need to send any information of it. People, you know, calling a job, like I said, what I got from the discords, because I gave them all them discord messages and I told them these are the people that was calling my job. Okay, hold on. So let me stop. Let Kappa, me ask you. So when Kappa hold on, hold on, put hold on. that up, huh? Hold on, because I forget. Just let me ask you this real quick. Do you finish? You can finish. So, because I'm just, so, because I don't know, I'm just thinking about me and I. <clears throat> So when they was questioning you, because maybe they can only stick to certain questions. And when they said, okay, so they saying you got this lady, you looked up this lady stuff. And you like, nah, I looked it up off a whole different, it was public and all of that. So none of the people that was interviewing you at your job was like, okay, but why was you doing it anyway? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so none you of their business. Time. They can't ask, they can't ask oh, so you they about can't your ask personal you life. Certain questions. Okay, go ahead. They can't ask you nothing about okay. your personal life. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. When they after the interview was over, I handed all them Discord messages and them talk, talking about they're gonna call my job and everything else. And they said, if you still persist in having these problems, uh, hand over any information to them. So when Kappa posted that and uh, the number to Tigda and then made a whole video talking about maybe she should they should call on my spouse and say that she was <laughs> people online when she don't even my wife don't come on this app, nobody's seen my wife on this app. That's the same thing Patrick said. He talking have, about my wife threatening him. My wife ain't never even speak to this man before. I have a quick question. Yeah. Speaking of the wife, I, when, when Dr. Fingers live a while back. Huh? When she Dr. Went, Fingers what? On his live a while back, remember? Uh-huh. And she was minding her business. And then you just kind of shove the... I, in my opinion, I feel like you kind of shove the phone on her yeah. cause she didn't know what was going on like my that's wife my, she my knows point. everything she knows well, everything I, right so like I said they've point. been harassing my wife for like let's talk about that now. let's huh? talk about that let's talk about that because you you put, you put literally put her in it that day right cause she's mad at her own business you asked her to pause her phone call or whatever she mm -hmm. was doing mm -hmm. and then you literally said cause this this really I, I, I tripped off this I said wow cause you literally said these are the people that's been, you know, talking about you or whatever. Woo -woo. Yep. And she was like, okay, and and you was like, well, tell them, this your wife you talking to. You literally yep. said these, I'm going to say these words verbatim. You said, well, tell them to leave my wife alone. <laughs> and I was just like, I said, tell them to leave my wife alone. That's exactly what you said in that video. You said, well, tell them to leave my wife alone. I don't know. I, it's like you literally put her in it, like, you know, tell these people. Like, woo -woo 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 -woo. What do you mean? And I she didn't even want to do that. Do y'all think, let me, tell, let me tell you something. What I'm saying is, wife. Mm -hmm. Go on, Mister. What I'm saying is, it's she like she was saying. She was she was like, dude, I do not care. I don't care so about that. Don't I don't give a fuck about what they're doing in there. Whatever, whatever. It's like you literally. These people, now, they I mean, don't want to talk to her. They not trying to. You know what I'm saying? They literally telling you like, oh, we don't want to talk or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you like her. I want you to tell these people. You literally asking her to talk to these people and say something to them, and you know. Because you know I why do. they made up that fake blog saying that was my wife and she laughed at that shit when I showed her that shit and I'm like all right so they, you feel like I, you had to prove. Live. I don't know if I had to prove and plus I'm glad I did that because it gave me more information so after I got off that live oh, I got ooh, excuse me, hold on. I'm getting in my car you know I got one of those. anyway um, so after that live, my wife came to me and pointed out Lala's picture and uh, Tavia's picture. 
guess who's stalking my wife on Instagram? And then my wife started telling me more stuff that they were sitting and calling her, calling uh, her business, her business phone, writing on her business wall. Then come to find out, Denzel was in my wife DM trying to talk to her. So when yeah. I when I showed her them people, yeah. I'm listening. Why not? Go ahead. Can you hear me? No, you good. Uh, go ahead. So when I showed her those people, so when I showed her those people, she started getting involved. <clears throat> because my wife is now thinking about coming out on TikTok and cursing all y'all, cursing all in them out. So for then... writing that stupid ass fake blog. Okay. See that's what I'm and Lala and them stalking her. Denzel all in her damn DM talking about he wanna take a trip to Africa. If you can he can she come with him and shit like that. Cause y'all help me out. Cause my I told everybody from the beginning, my wife do not care about none of this stuff. She is not no social media person. I keep telling everybody the same crap over and over. And then when I say it now on that live, yeah, I'm listening. You said that she was gonna make a TikTok and cuss everybody out. It can't be I, both. <laughs> I said she's thinking about it. Like, she literally just today, she said, I'm about You know why she's thinking about it, probably? About shit. You probably know why she's thinking about her it. Family. Like, all these you videos, probably. you know that video Rabby made of her? Hey. That got back to her from her family. And that dude that, you know, that was on that live cursing people out, her cousin, like, that dude is crazy. Like, I was trying not to even get him involved. But he overheard my conversation and jumped in. And y'all don't know who this woman is and who she knows. Are we frozen? All right. You like, you told her, you told me. I mean, I ain't saying she would. I don't know. I never, uh, you know, estimate nobody. That's why I think when people be talking shit, it's funny to me because most of the time we talking shit, they ain't really about shit. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, just like that time when I, I mean, yeah. it's my prerogative is to say how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Especially if, if the picture was out there. So I, I stated my opinion on it. That was just, you know what I'm saying, what I did. And then you went live and you was like, no, crap, like, my wife will mop you and all this stuff. And I'm like, damn, why are you threatening me with the white dress? Because, like, my wife you know is a fighter, yo. Like, I'm telling you, like, she is from West Philly. She's a West well, Philly woman. Like, they, if you. Whether you believe I'm, she will mop me or not, the point is. You know what I'm saying? You putting her, you eat, you, you saying like, oh, my wife, hey, whatever. You're the one, hey, as far as putting her in stuff, you're the one that's putting her in this shit. And you know what I'm saying? Putting her more in it. It's not like, How did I do that? It's not her. How did you I correct? do that? Because that's everybody you. went looking for my wife. My wife that's wasn't bothering nobody. I didn't bring her on this app. I didn't put her picture on this app. I didn't ever tell people her name. So how did people find her? Find her? How did you find her? How did you get the picture? <laughs> It was on Facebook. I mean, it was on TikTok floating around. It was on the troll page, just like videos and pictures of me. That's what I'm saying. That t- that picture isn't from TikTok. I know, that but it isn't was, from TikTok. They got it from Facebook, but they put it on TikTok. That's exactly. where I saw it. So exactly. everybody else went looking for my wife to bring her in it, right? I didn't bring her in it. Everybody but, was looking for my wife. And that's but when, well, you, it's the thing. Hold on, it's the thing. This is where everybody don't understand. You know, like, Patty sit up here, you know, he flip flop all over the place, but he'll be like, Oh, if I say, Well, y'all don't want to put y'all kids up here, y'all don't want to do this. It's like, even like, okay, I'm just using this a picture of Alicia and her kid, you know, to go for me, whatever. You know what these people are about, right? You fighting about against what these people are about. You know, this is what the types of things that these people do. Okay, so you got a family because like, this is what T Nathan told me. This is his excuse anyway when I said he raised his damn kids. Okay, he turned out to be a fat. Okay, he said when I say you don't have no pictures of your people or whatever, he said because you know I have to think about you know my family. It's people that try to get to me, you know what I'm saying? They can't get to me or whatever. Then they'll go and they'll fuck with my family or whatever. So that's why I don't have my fucking family. You know what I'm saying? He's using that as an excuse for his bullshit, but he was right. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know you're doing all this. You know the type of people you're dealing with, so you know it's a possibility that they're gonna go f with your wife. That's just the type of stuff that they do. So in essence, you it's like either you don't care. You know what I'm saying? But she is in this position because of you. Hold on one second. I'm talking to his teacher. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Hey, okay, hey. thank you. No problem. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I was picking up gate. What'd you say? So what I'm saying is, you know that you what what did you hear? What's the last thing you heard? I'm about saying what? your wife is in, in uh, your wife being I, in this is nobody's fault but yours in my Oh opinion. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know? you were talking about T Nathan. Okay, I you said, said you with were talking T-Nathan. about T Nathan, I agree with him. Like I wish I didn't knew that before I got on this app. Yeah, but at that point, you knew the people that you was dealing you with. Got, you know like, what I'm saying? So, when you move yeah, a certain way... That ain't got way, nothing to do with my wife being them looking at my wife. It, it do, because you know that's what the type of people... It's like, I said a long time ago, you know, on the end of the video when I'm talking shit or whatever, I'm like, hey, you don't even give a fuck about y'all. Why you don't care? None of, but this is what I'm saying then, because this is how it looks. It's just how it yeah. looks. I'm like, man, you don't even care about your wife. You don't care about her business and nothing. You got these people calling her business and this and that and the other, woo, woo, because of what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not right. I'm not saying it's right what they're doing, but I'm saying they're doing it because of what you're doing. You it know comes what I'm with saying? the territory. It comes, comes with, with the territory type shit. And well, yeah, that's why my wife, yeah, and that's why my wife did not like none of this shit. But now she ready to fight back because she getting tired of the bullshit. Because I didn't but, never talk to my wife about this shit. Me, me and my wife don't talk about TikTok. We do not talk about TikTok. To me, she don't fucking like TikTok. It and she's going to tell me what to do. So it's like this. Like next year, right? Because this is definitely going to be a next year. Next year, when you up here talking about what somebody doing with your wife or whatever, like why should anybody care? Because you just said like, what, she, what I would do if I really didn't do social media and I was having all these problems. Hold on. If I was having all these problems because my man... Or whatever was on social media. It's like this dude. What problem? Yeah, it's I, the, if she it's if no she don't get on no her and make if she's thinking about getting on her and making videos and cursing people out and all of that then okay, I'm gonna say it's some type of issues or whatever. So I'm having issues people calling my okay, people calling my job. If people calling my job and doing all this and bothering me and having people put up my job information, have people call my job and stuff like that. Okay, because my man is whatever he's doing on TikTok with some girl that I don't know because it's his sister or whatever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My, I, this is me personally. I would be, dude, get the fuck off of this social, this some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? People calling my job. That's how I would come. But you're saying she's going to come on See, TikTok. That's, that's she's about enjoying in and entering the ring and cursing people out. And then they'll have, you know, why? Schools, you know what I'm saying, to say, that's why we did that to this bitch. This is why we said that. You see, she came here running her fucking mouth. She, you know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah, it's yeah. game on. And so these are what you, you know, matter. these next year you're going to be you like, say oh, what you, it's a bitch. You can circle. say whatever they want. You can't govern people. You can't, you can't tell somebody but, and keep people in check and just because you don't like what they saying, they don't give you the right to call nobody job. I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm not and agreeing. My wife don't like this shit. She don't like she don't like TikTok because she don't do social media. She believe in everything that I'm doing. She don't have no problem with my message. Okay, yeah. She don't, not, what she not, has a problem with is old people calling her calling her phone, calling her son, saying her son wears a helmet, or making lies up on her job, talking about they try to get a business. I mean, a, a trip from her, talking about she stole their money. Like flat out lying on her is unacceptable on any grounds. Okay, but what's more important? Now, as far as you talking about me and what I do, and because that was bringing her into it, she knows she knows that. But they went looking for her. She still ain't did nothing to these fools. At the end of the day, and she a black woman. Somebody they supposed to be protecting at all costs because you know black women are the most dang most people that are in danger the most, right? But they ain't got no problem. They supposed to be protecting you. I'm saying you break. Or never. What I'm saying is, you do you take any responsibility? You know what I'm saying, as far as her being, you know, brought, you know, put into this or attacked any type of way. I don't have no choice. I put myself in this whole thing with these people. You supposed to protect her. I'm the one that's got to stand up to these people. I ain't gonna back down to these nut ass people. 
You supposed my to protect wife, her. Wife, my wife's job is not in danger. Her no, business is not in danger. All she's she dealing with is corny ass white people. Wait, let's talk about parental skills. Do you take oh, any goodness. responsibility Yo, for I'm being in the hood at 44 years old? I'm telling in this box with you, dude. I'm about to smack this shit out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at him. 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 Look at him, y'all. Look at him. Look at him. You know I saw that, right? Ah, he immediately... Yeah, I did good. I'm Asian now, so why didn't he do it? Leave the hood alone. Leave the hood alone. Take your time to talk like everybody else. No, I want to talk about his parental skills. Every time somebody says, oh, he don't talk about kids, he talks about parental skills. What about yours, please? Your your kid can't even go to the park because you live in a nasty-ass, dangerous neighborhood. What kind of parental skills is that? Can you you can get shot anytime you go outside your nasty ass neighborhood. What about your parental Hold skills? On. You mad, dog? You mad? I learned this from Pat. Look at <laughs> this whole summer. You spend inside because you can't go outside. Anybody, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like all the yelling in the stream. Can't you just have a conversation, Scotty? So I'll tell my last thing. Okay. Now, remember that time? Uh, remember that time, Blaze Scalo, uh, clowning you because uh, I asked you out the box because you came there cursing and stuff. And he was like, "Oh hell, now nah. he gonna he gonna try to get back in the box." I would never get back. I was like, "He should," because he was cursing. He was like, "I would never." Uh, I would never look at him. look at him sitting there waiting to get back in the box. He was like, "I never get back. I would never." Uh, <laughs> somebody dropped me out. Don't you mention all the time? Well, he was crying to me about trying to sit in the box of Patrick's box. I would never do that. Man, like, you, you seem <laughs> desperate as fuck. He desperate. He, said he would never press the request again. You are, he does. Him. He just seems desperate. He is so desperate for attention, he will say any fucking thing. I'll never what? You're you fucking desperate, that you, bro. You said that you, you would never sad, request to get back in the You're desperate. What, what, what day does your Roku cool show premiere? What day? <laughs> Come on, Scooby-Doo. What day does your Roku show premiere? What day? I want to know what day and what time. Ask your mom. I don't know. Yeah, you don't even know because the only information you have is some old bald. Every lady you speak to was big and bald, by the way. So stop talking about you get females. You don't get females. Every female you speak to is like 40, big and bald. That's not females. This, this, this ain't Jurassic World. Anyways, you're not getting a Roku show. You're not getting a Roku show. Some old lady me. told you that and you yeah. believe it. Damn you mad, bro. Some old lady, huh? Some old lady gave me that? That's Everybody you speak to is an old lady. You weirdo. Your whole your whole life is full of big and bald women. What are you oh, talking shit. about? What, talking what, about what female do you have? Why you gotta throw the why you gotta throw all the women? Big and bald, right? Big and bald, yes. <laughs> big and bald. Bad. That should be the name of your show, Big and Bald. But what the, what, That's what how you talk about black women, right? Because you're not black. Yo, don't even call yourself black. Because if you say you're black and somebody sees where you live, it's a stereotype. Stop doing it. You're putting yourself down. Blaze, you're a weirdo. Move out the hood. You're 44 years old. You got to say something different. You got to say, y'all got to look. We're not entertained by the set people saying the same damn things over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he live in the hood or whatever. I mean, just come up with something different. You know, no, it's not different. different. I want to know how it's does somebody make a hundred k a year and their house is ninety eight thousand and falling apart? How does that work? You live like in a haunted house, Blaze. What? You live in a haunted house. How do you make a hundred k a year and your house is Man. falling apart? You are desperate, bro. Come on, Scooby Doo, answer the question. What's you call him Scooby? I swear I can't wait to see you. You're never gonna see me. You're broke. You can't afford it. Stop answer the questions. How do you make a hundred K a year? Your girl got two jobs and you're in the hood in a in a house that costs ninety eight thousand. How is that possible? Can we set up this fight? Where do you live in? Is he going to answer or he has no answer? Because he's a liar. He doesn't wait for the IRS. This dude is just that he picks up his school. His kid, you're a babysitter. You're a babysitter. That's what you are. Your girl's at work and you're a babysitter. Nothing wrong with that, but just say it. Stop lying. <sighs> Come on, Blaze the babysitter. Is he still talking? Is he still talking? Come on, Scooby-Doo, answer. How do you make 100K a year and you're broke? Okay. 
Hold on, Skylar. Are you gonna answer that question or not, or what? So we can he can move on or whatever. He has no answer for that question. He's a liar. <laughs> you He's a soccer mom. Him. He just went to go pick up his kid from school. He's a soccer mom. A big Scooby Doo looking soccer mom. What and that house, yo, I'd rather be homeless than live in that project. Hold on, uh, house Skylar. Skylar. Let me say this while it while it blaze back in, but uh. Yeah, it's I'm sorry, but I gotta call out some fake kissy teeth. But so it should be worth hey, it. Hold on, Blaze. Why you not picking up your Hold kids? on, Blaze. I was saying something to the people in the comments because y'all always be saying stuff, but if it was a female up here that y'all did not like or whatever, and she said my man was at home watching kids, y'all be talking all shit something. Like, you ain't not watching baby city, you ain't shit or whatever. So like, I wanna stop. know why you not picking Let's up your kids. Answer the question, why are you stuck in West Philadelphia, which you, is disgusting you and, and tore down? Why are you stuck there? Why, are why you don't have your kids or your wife? Why are you stuck there? Why are you don't have your kids and your wife? Why, why are you stuck there? I'm asking you, why, why are you stuck you in the hood, Blade? You're 44 wife? years old. Why we don't never see your kids or hear you picking them up or doing anything? I never seen your kid either. I know I heard you call your kid a nigger before. I never seen your I never seen your kid either. I don't care about that. Oh, really? All I know, I seen your house and that's bad enough. I've never seen my kid before, huh? I they never did. Right I seen your nasty house, car. though. You know, you said I don't have my car and I don't have my children, right? But he right there. Okay, ninety-eight thousand home in the hood. Can. Why do you live in they West can. Philadelphia? Why can't you go to the park? Why? Why are you gonna run back home year. real quick and you're not even gonna see him dodge inside his house because he's scared of his own neighborhood? Are you still living with your father? Yeah, you I never did. Do you know who your father is, Blaze? Yeah, you are. Do you know who your father is? Yep, I showed so up. My dad is. is, he, is he, uh, uh, hold on, is he, hold on. Is you asking him do his daddy, his daddy is because he black? Uh, no. I'm just asking him does he everything because know. people black because he don't like black people movies. Blade, you're, like you're not black. Blade, you're not black. You're an alien nigger. from outer space. Ain't you're like 44 and still live in a haunted house. Over. That's what he you are an alien. What date are we gonna set for the fight? Are we gonna? Can we get a month? I'm just gonna keep saying that nobody believes Blade. Nobody. The only person Blade ever ran up on was 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 Pat, who's a weirdo anyway. That's the only okay. place. And, and Pat had to go to Philadelphia because so Blake can't afford to get out of it. You don't want to set the date for the fight. You just want to keep talking. You don't want to set the date for the fight. Go ahead, set the date. Go ahead, set the date. Uh, yes. So, can we get like at least it, a it'll month? It'll be the same like, day your month? Roku show drops. Well, well, what date is that? <laughs> <laughs> what date is the Roku show date? Well, we'll set it up for that day. What date is it, Blaze? Go, go ask the person who told you that you're going to have a Roku show to tell you what date because you don't know. Hmm. Mm. He doesn't Depends even know. This is, this is why I nobody should believe Blaze about anything. He, 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 his intel is hearing it from somebody else, and he just repeats he's whatever he hears. He doesn't even check if it's true or not. He don't want to yeah. fight. He know that would be the end of his life. He no. Blaze, you're a walking corpse. Where are you going to meet me at? I told him 20 seconds. We're going to meet me at, Patrick. Where are you going to meet me at, Patrick? Because that's what you're going to be. going to be when I'm finished with you. Your new name going to be Patrick. No, it's not. So where are you gonna meet me at? Once again, what date? Forget, Stop talking. What date? date? Where are you gonna meet me at? The same day your Roku show drops. What date is that? Yeah, he's, he's scared of the What date is that? I said no, what Blaise, date, nigga? Blaze, just said the date. Where the you gonna meet me at so I can knock you? Don't what ass date? Up? Where the fuck? What no date did the Roku show drop? It has no, to be that date. Nigga, you, all right. So the Roku scared. is on a, it's on, it's on the thirty first of October. <laughs> How about that? I'm recording this. October 31st. All right, so October 31st. So, you, so there you 31st, go. You going, where you going to meet me at? I don't know. Where, 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 can, you you know. where you can you drive to? I bet you Where can you drive to? Bullshit to the 31st. Where can you drive Just to? like Rabbi said, the 22nd. Where can you drive to? September. Why y'all always got to pick dates to fight? Nigga, just roll up. Like I did. So, I ain't so picking October 31st. Yo. October 31st. So we got the date. We just going to stick with the date right now. Then we going. So where we meeting oh. up at? You tell me where we mean. Oh, like what's the block. come to my block since you don't you don't nobody care. wants to go to y'all. Like, what's a neutral open place? Like is it a playground? You know, in the New York, it seems like it's a lot of like playgrounds and stuff. There you go, New York, right downtown, New York, nice and safe. Barrels, can y'all choose the barrels? Like you going to do? Because he ain't gonna be having no teeth to talk. You want to write out his fucking police report? No cries on you, gonna referee. 
No, we don't need no referee. Live. Yeah, I am. I'm going to referee live. Don't need no, no, no. Ain't going to be no need for no referee. He's going to keep talking like this. He, he, he acts gonna, he like I live in China or something. This happened two months ago. This is all he's going to keep saying. He has nothing else to say. He could just keep making all this shit up and he wants to keep talking. Nobody's afraid of you, Blaze. Nobody believes you. I hope you know that. You are you don't even you don't even have the balls to go outside and walk around your neighborhood. Where are you meeting me at? Right. In New York, in the middle of Times Square. Let's go. The the, the cops take no uh, 15 Square, minutes right. uh, call time no to get there. Square in New Jersey. There's no Times Square in New so, Jersey. No, in Times Square, Square, New York. So in the now middle in New York. of New York. Yeah, why not? Well, anybody's driving all the way to New York. Nigga, you live in New Jersey. Why? You don't have gas money? You don't have gas money? Scotty, you scared. You don't have gas money or tow money? You stay here on the way from me. What, what the fuck is wrong with you? So you have hour no hour idea where, you, where I'm at, you bum. The only info you get is from those big blue girls who, who, old ladies who be in. You don't know anything about me. Wants to drive you have no idea where I'm at. I'm telling you where. You want to drive three hours to New York? I know you don't have a car, so that's hard for you, but yeah, sure. I don't have a car, but I'm driving my car right now. Yeah, because you dropped your girl off at work, baby boy. That, uh, that's why no, you drive your girl off at work and you take so the car. She's a revenue you sucker. Officer too, so she doesn't you have take to the car. Those. Your girl working two jobs and you go drop her off lunch. She doesn't have no two jobs. No. Yes, she no. does. You, she, she doesn't have two What's jobs. You're sure job? about that. What's the second job? Then who's making What's all the, the money? Because you're, you're never at work. You're never at work. So who's making all the money? When when has Blake ever be like, yo, guys, I gotta go clock in? Never. This guy's online all day long. Business. When the hell is the IRS open? It's not open in the middle of the night, you weirdo. Closed. This is how slow you are. You can't even make up a good lie. Hold on, let me This is why I don't do the IRS. Yo, if somebody were to call the IRS and he's the Scooby Doo with the IRS, Scooby-Doo, the freaking fool talking, they would hang up. If I ever called the IRS and I heard his voice come. <laughs> as soon as he unmuted, as soon as I hear him unmuted, I'm just going. No cries on just This is why. This is why I can't be or look at him. This is why I can't be arguing with, with no bitches in the box. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it don't make no sense. Y'all get nowhere. Look at me. He, right. he knows he muted. <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere. We trying to, you know, go and get this just squashed or whatever. And this is definitely like, you know what I'm saying? I can see if if something was getting it disclosed and people like, oh, I got that on. Oh, did you hear what? It ain't nothing. It's just like straight up going back and forth. Run around like, I ain't had time for that. And that's why when these bitches be out here, so, oh, no, Chris, I'm not a bitch. I ain't got time for all that. Okay? I deal with facts, okay? If you come with some bullshit, then they probably mean you on some bullshit. You jealous, bitch. You hating, okay? If you can't tell me why the fuck you mad or, or what you want to do then. You know what I'm saying? Some bullshit. So what we going to do? Is we going to we gonna October 31st? All we going to have a party. Not, all not, all not, all not all gonna all be an hour in the middle of now. He going to do all the talking on his app. He ain't about that action. I ain't listening to this dude. I see him when I see him. Oh, shut the oh, hell up. Oh, it's been two yeah, months, you sucker. That's you that's act that. like I live on another planet or something. Like, you're jumping to shut up. You're not going to do nothing. I don't even say nothing when you're in the box because you're soft to me. There's nothing to say to you. You're the one who keeps bringing this up because you got your ball snatched on TikTok Live and you can't do anything about it. I ain't about all that talk. I was schooled today, yeah. All you do is talk. You got your kid in your car and you're here arguing. Okay, but you do go into Blaze Lives. Uh, no, I don't. His, as you break, yes, you were just in no, the live. Because you were in there. Because you were in there and it came up on my screen. That's why. Oh, okay. That's why you were in there. What about the other guy? I don't find it. I don't care what he's there. doing. He All he does is talk about men all day long. Why the hell do I want to hear that? And that's all he talks about is right other now, men. Right? Isn't that what he's doing? He got pictures of other men in his phone. Doing? He talk about yeah, men all the time. The he wants to see Patrick all the time. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hear that. This dude's 44 years old, always talking but about other guys. Right? He talks he's about he, he got cute in high school. <laughs> Look at your wife. Have you, yo, go to my page right now and see Blaze's wife. All it's right, on my so top video. Live, your because, wife is like 300 pounds. What are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My kids in the like... car, so I'm gonna get off this live. Yeah, okay. get on. Go Perfect. be your dad, you All sucker. Right. And stop being I'm scared. Smack this shit out, you bitch. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks. Go move out the hood, you bum. He's a sucker. You will never see Blaze walk outside. This dude is scared as hell. He has to look every other way when he's driving because he knows somebody might jack his car. Yeah, but you still didn't set no uh, spot to fight him in, though. Why you talking? I told him, it's, it's 15 minutes of response time. It ain't going to take that long to fight. Why Time Square? That's not in the uh, middle of where y'all stay, though. That's what I'm saying. You know, first of all, Blaze has no idea where I stay. He has no information on me. This guy's an so idiot. Do you know where he stay? 
You know, I, I, yeah, I do know where I've been to where his days. Okay, you know, so all he, the days after he said what he oh, said. I've been mean, you want to see what? what? You want to so see it? Hold on, give me a wedding. second. I'll, I'll show no, you. No, I don't want to see it. Oh, okay. I right. don't want to see it. So, how far do you live from him? How many hours does it take? It doesn't matter where I take because I would never go to his nasty ass, dirty neighborhood. I you don't even go, go outside his, there, so there's no point. I didn't say go to his neighborhood. I say, how long do it take to get there? I don't know. You I never, I, I never GPS it. Okay, well, can you GPS it then? Which since you was about to show us, can you just go ahead and don't show us? Just GPS it and tell us how long it take, and then maybe y'all can meet in the middle. Like if it take a couple They're of hours, the New York is the middle. Times Square sound expensive though. I mean, why you gotta do all that? Times Square. Why not? The damn, uh, well, that's how, the, because you're trying to deflect because you're scared. Deflect what? I said a place and a time. Has he said a place and a time? No, he hasn't. He just keeps <laughs> saying, oh, soon, soon. He's been saying that for two months. What's the place? Did he say a place and a time or did he just leave? Did he just, just keeps saying, oh, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. He's been saying two months. But it's been two months already. He keeps running in and keeps saying, saying yo, Blaze, go be a dad. This dude is, is steady worried about this. This is getting no income in your pocket. You're still stuck in a haunted house. But you're more worried about this. He's, Blaze he's has saying, spent his whole summer vacation. Oh, whenever vacation. His whole uh, summer in his uh, house scared. Uh, he's saying I'm getting bored. Uh, I'm getting bored. I'm a comedian. I'm getting bored. I see, I see no funny here. Do you got some do you got some jokes? Do you got some some jokes or some drags or something? I got boring. some jokes. It's funny how I come in and I start bringing up stuff and he leaves. That's what's funny. He said he had to go. Yeah, of course, because I'm here. He, he can't answer the questions. He can't answer why he's stuck in the hood, supposedly making 100 k. He can't answer why he looks like Scooby-Doo. He can't answer a lot of things. He can't answer why he looked like his teeth looked like he'd been smoking crack his whole life. He can't answer these questions. I want to ask him. That fight and stuff, it ain't never going to happen. Blaze would never run up on me because he know that'll be his last day on Earth. So we could get that out of the way. It's been two months. He's not going to do nothing. Oh, okay. Nothing. Oh, okay, so you got to. So you like you like them dudes. You got to go get the gun. That's what you're saying. Why well, it's going to be his last day? Oh, you just got the hands. Yeah, it just like, will be. They hang your hands with your, they register, they leave the weapons. It mm. just will be. And he knows that. That's why he, why do you think? So you're you going to beat him so bad, you just saying you're going to beat him so bad. The last time when we, when, when we were on the live and you brought him in, did I mention him? No, because I ain't got nothing to say. He's a clown. He started this whole fight over Leola, which he never even smelled Leola's panties and never will. He started the fight over her, being the sucker that he right. is. And I already said, I'm not mad about anything because I, I didn't lose or gain anything in that. He lost everything in that. He fought for a woman that he's never going to see in real life. He's never going to touch. Like I said, go to my videos right now on my page and look at the top ten. Look at what Blaze is married to, and look like what and look at what I was smashing. Who who was cute in high school? Look what you're stuck with, and look what I got. What the hell Never. is Blaze talking about? Blaze lives in a fantasy world. Everything Never. he says is ass backwards. He talks to every woman that Blaze talked to is big and bald. I don't care who the hell you are. No mm. way in hell that he's getting anything. So, That's why so, he's so, miserable so, and always so, online. Hold on, Skyler. Calm down, because you're saying we bother. What's wrong? If he likes, okay, just say, and he likes, say he likes big and bald. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, if he likes big and bald, because ain't nothing wrong with big and bald, right? If he likes, you see the, you see something wrong with big and bald, that's on you. But if he likes big and bald, and he gets the big and bald, then what's the problem? You know <laughs> ain't no problem, I'm just saying. It's just, right. everything he says is ass backwards to me. He, he, he throws out random stuff, but then when you look at the like facts, it don't make no sense. Maybe he don't like Little and skinny and you know, cuckoo. Now you can like whatever you want. It's just no, because right. I heard what he said so a little bit before when so I was in here. We're talking about having oh, a big and bald woman just because you you hating on them or you don't like them. That don't mean nothing. It's a lot of people be like, oh, you know, that's a fine big and bald sister, whatever. So what they got to do with anything? They got nothing to do with anything. Well, I mean, right. I did what I needed to do. Yeah. I knew when I came in and I asked the questions, Blade was would run. Now, my, my daddy did tell me that, you know what I'm saying? You can almost tell everything about a man by the woman that he has. That's what my, my pops told me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, a man cannot even have much. You know, he can have a bite. But if he had the right woman, you know what I'm saying, sitting on them handlebars, all the dudes going to uh, look up to him. They're going to envy it. You know what I'm saying? So, you you kind of... I'm listening. Hold on. What you been up to, Nick Nick? 
I was gonna say, oh, girl, cut her hair off. Leo, cut her dress out. Yeah. So what you gonna do with that? You done drove it too. But um, yeah, as I'm saying, like you, do you take that? You look at makes you like your value as a person. You know, the woman you got. Like, why are you judging on the woman? Like, why are you? No, bothering I'm I'm going off what he said. What was he saying before when when you were telling when you were asking, well, how do you get all this information? He always throw he always throws out, oh, I got cute in high school. How do you get cute in high school when you're married to that wildebeest you're married to? What the hell are you talking about, Blaze? Who are you cute to? Look at your wife. What the, you, you're cute to that thing? What? How does that make sense? How no, dare you sell? No, no, no. What the hell does he look like when he looks in the mirror and he thinks he's cute? And then he looks at his wife and see what he's stuck with. What is he? He lies about everything. He lies about the IRS. He lies about being cute. He lies about like, yo, he, everything about this dude is a lie. His uh, Roku show. Uh, when is his Roku sorry, show? Sorry. Never. So, uh, let me let me interrupt you. Now see now you done you done you done already went too far. So we there we go. Now I'm about to probably get now y'all probably about to get embarrassed because. I'm supposed to be ready at three o'clock, and I ain't there. I watch this and all this. I ain't doing shit. I'm not ready. But why you call it a woman a wildebeest? No. What makes her? No, what makes her a wildebeest? Google wildebeest. I'll Google it for you. you want me to Google it? I'll Google. Yeah, go ahead and Google it then. Right. Some, some shit about to happen. I, I How much of the time is it gonna be? Wildebeest. Hold up. I don't see why you gotta Google it. Why don't you just tell me why you got her wheel? No, because I'm gonna show you. So, so, so you can understand what, what I'm saying. It, it, it's better to show. Hold up. Don't y'all don't flag me. Just handle them or whatever. Don't flag me. I'm I'm just you know letting them show you who we you know. Let me show you. You see it? About. <laughs> there you go. That's all that I Google it. That, that that's what Google says. And. Yo, and, and you know what the problem with the internet is? The internet never catches anything. Oh, Let me so wait, what, wait. what happened is you told me last night that your mother and your father was together in one home and couldn't afford to get you out of the hood. And that is why you hate the hood so much. But you always went back to the hood because you wanted to the, the white tees and the white beaters and you want to show her in a nice face like the black dudes, okay? Like, you know, you envy them or whatever. At the same time, no. your mama, nope, your mama was married to your daddy. You said then because, you know, you tried to come up with something, you say the hood didn't get as bad as you said when they were shooting all over the place for the last two years. But they told us two years, two people, you know, a lot of, because you like to say how black people ain't got no daddies or whatever. Two people, okay, had to struggle because they couldn't get your ass up out of a hood. While all these Negroes running around shooting everybody, okay? Your parents that was together, and I guess some type of intelligence had to keep you there at the same time. Your mama didn't like you. She didn't talk to you. You know what I'm saying? She just paid to, you know what I'm saying? You walk around hating everybody, okay? At the same time, I'm liable to think your mama was getting banged by a black dude all over the motherfucking place. That's why you're so disrespectful. And I'm liable to think you saying your daddy disrespect, okay? Because he probably was a bum. He couldn't get y'all out the hood. So you got an issue with not only the hood, you know what I'm saying? And women, definitely black women. Okay, because you don't like your mama, because she didn't like you. You said she was a horrible person. I say, why is she a horrible person? She's like, because she didn't talk to me. She didn't, you know, ask me how my day was. She didn't like me. She didn't, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want to be around me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I didn't and say that. Yes, you did. You said that no. she didn't ask you anything. She didn't ask you how your day was. I didn't, didn't say she didn't want to be around me. I, I, I didn't say that. Was she, she ain't talking to you and shit? What makes you think she want to be around you? I'm saying, why well, trying to take all your Anyways, anyways that, 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 that's already on YouTube. I, I, I don't know if you're, you're retelling everything we talk about. It. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm Listen. telling these people, you what your problem is and why you got some type of, uh, why you disrespecting black women because that's what you my, need. No. You said up there, going to show us a wildebeest on my motherfucking live like that's going to fly. You're going to show a wildebeest, a whole brown wildebeest. you wanted to see it. Okay, because there's a uh, black, she don't look like me now. I said, I said to me, I'm gonna keep it real. I said what I said about her. Okay, she looks like. Oh, well, that's my. Well, opinion, wait, wait, okay? what did you say? She like no what did you say? She said she's black. What did you say? She said she's black. Wait, what did you say? Wait, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? I do, and I think she, you know what I'm saying. She got around. And that's why you, you know, treat women like that. <laughs> because that she looks like what? Wait, what did she look like? The black men in the hood. 
Okay, that child, your parents, your daddy couldn't afford to get you out of. Wait, no. You what did you say? Like, I, I heard you say, okay, so you're saying room. Blaze's wife looked you like she got around, but what, what did she look her, like? Okay, after she held around the hood, you seen how they treated her like she. I don't and know so what you're trying to say. Black women, men and black women. Not at and all. So that's why you try to ride doing this. At the same time, you want to be these black dudes, and that's why you got obsession with Never. Black I will, wait, who would I, I want to be? Wait, wait. Who would I want to be? It is not Leona that she was mad. It was you was mad because she was talking to him. You wanted to No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That, that's not what happened. Anyways, this is how it happened. I said, I said nothing to this guy. Wait, I said nothing to this guy. You want to talk to him. You just want to get him about to talk to him. That's the way I see it. No, I just want to make fun of him because he, he's a funny guy to make fun of. That, that That's it. But he started this. I was never mad at him about anything. That's why you raised it. That's why you had he black people. He started this. What are you talking about? You have you racist. You don't like black people because of what's your mind. No, just because he's broke, it has nothing to do with him being black. He just happens to be a broke black guy. It doesn't mean it has nothing to do with him being black. I know plenty of other black people who aren't broke in the hood like he is. He just happens to be one. He's a fucking bum. It's not my fault. It's, not true. it's a plenty of people on this app. I, unless you just get into a black people, you get into a plenty of uh white folks, don't sure, whatever. I know yeah. these dudes are so fat. A whole lot of fat white bitches running around. Okay, exactly, what you there is, and, and I made and I made fun of a lot of them, and I made fun of a lot of them. The the what ones in the trailer parks and everything. What you calling them? What? That's why you get with black women that disrespect you like Leola do. Okay, because that's what you used to. You used to being in the hood, not being able to get out. You hated it there. At the same time, these dudes were fly. You wish you was like them. Your mama was running around Never. going on who knows what with them or whatever, and you mad. That's I'm not mad about mad. anything. You told me all that Anyways. Time. Okay, so I'll explain how, how this, this started again. I never said anything about this idiot. He started with me, and he what kept going on and on about me, thinking I wouldn't you? see it. What do you call the fat Mac? What are you, again, what did you tell me you was, uh, uh, something, well, what, what, what's your ethnicity? What are you? Human. Okay, it's a whole lot of fat Cuban bitches running around here. What do you call them out? What do you call them? Uh, I don't Where's know. I picture? haven't seen them yet. Where's the picture? Oh, you think the fat white bitches, and you ain't seen no fat Cuban bitches? I, okay. I have been one, one of them so she's she lumpy as a mother, but she called herself Cuban, but I know, you know, we all know she's white, whatever, but she, she, we'll say she's Cuban, she's a fat bitch, okay? Yeah, okay, all right, I made fun of her too. Fat white bitch then. Her? I don't know, I never really thought about it, but I have made fun of her too, why? What's up? But I, just, I, I don't get what's the point. But you just picked a black woman, you had a name for her all off top, though. But they're weird to no, okay, once again, this is the same idiot who randomly went into a live, which is why I went in on, 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 on his family, because he randomly went into a live and was like, oh, Leola's uh, I ain't got no more time. I ain't got time, to, you know what I'm saying, saying that like I, you know, really want to, because I couldn't let him get away from this shit. Come on now. Yeah, you're doing too much. Too much. You damn, that's too damn much right there. No, yeah. no. You know, she ain't been in the movie, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she might be lumpy, but I ain't been a good appearance. Just call him up in a wheel to be now. If I choose to call the bitch money, that's on me. But goddamn, man, then what y'all thinking? I said, I said I was neutral, bitch. I ain't saying, what the fuck? Is y'all slow? Yeah. Cause your mama a hoe and you mad. I mean, <laughs> crazy. He basically told us all that in the live last night. We were chilling and talking. Pretty much. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at that woman. Don't 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 be racist because your mama was a hoe. She was, you know, getting pegged by these black dudes. Okay, in the hood that y'all couldn't afford to get out of. Yeah. You see? She had to put your mama in the house, start your business. I'm not going up there now. Ah, oh, because your mama didn't like it, and you have to have a better reason for that. Okay. You could have told me that, you know what I'm saying? You had a black woman babysitter, she did all these things to you, and you know what I'm saying? You really trying hard. You would have said anything. But because your mama was a hoe, and she didn't want to talk to you, and she ignored you and ain't pay you no goddamn attention. And then the black woman got to be a wilder beast. Okay. Because they was hot potato on your mama all over the goddamn hood, boy. Uh -huh. Anyway, I got to go, I think, because I he probably he and I recall and I didn't answer the phone for the shower.
And then he gonna come and he gonna ain't gonna have no cigarettes on. They gonna be like, why you got a cigarette? And he be like, you ain't answer motherfucking phone on that goddamn live and shit. And I don't know what the fuck you doing. And you know, don't make no sense. You know, blah, 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 blah. And then I'll be like, shit, I'm finna go home. And then I'll be like, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to cook something. What a bunch of bullshit y'all gonna put me through. So, thanks, Nikki, for coming in and hanging out. Hi. All right. You're so sad. I'm so sad. You were so sad. Damn. I mean, I boy, I be feeling bad for you. I feel bad. Like, mm mm mm. I mean, it's just it's kind of sad because like I I just know like the trauma that must have happened for him to be that, you know, sad. Mm mm mm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I don't know. It's just how I go. But anyway, girl, what you doing for the rest of the day? Um, 